You're listening to the Impact Implosion on the Angry Marks Podcast Network. October 2nd, 2014, and we are here at Impact Implosion. As always, I am your host, Seth Draken, and on the other end is Mike Pullen. Hello, hello, and we've got news. Of course we do. Dixie Carter talking about telling everyone that by January 7th, we'll be, okay, we got a new TV, we'll have a new TV deal. (laughs) We'll see about that, won't we? Yeah. At least he knows our end date. And then we got Bound for Glory. (laughs) <laughs> because they announced the entire card online. And if you're going to hear about this on TV, good luck. They might. You never know. We first got a Wrestle 1 exclusive tag team matchup between Andy Wu and Hijo del Pantera versus Kirishio Ikiman Jiro and Yusuke Kodama. And if I am botching those names, I apologize. Yep. Because there will probably be plenty of them in this segment. And then we have Havoc versus Velvet Sky. Yay! Because if you want to show knockouts matchup, you show Velvet Sky. (laughs) Well, I mean, it'll probably be a squash anyway, but... And then we have Manic versus versus Minoru Tanaka, the former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Who has also appeared in TNA a couple of times early, early on in, like, 2005. Yeah, I don't remember. Then we have MVP versus Kazma Sakamoto. Is that the guy that managed Tensai? <laughs> I'm wondering if it is. I have no idea. Because that would be funny. These two guys managed big people. Let's see them fight. <laughs> EC3 is going to have a match. Oh, God. Against former sumo wrestler Ryota Hama. Hama? Why... Are you going to give EC3 a guy who's basically Rikishi? Or if you don't know TNA people, Junior Fatu. <laughs> right. And then we have Samoa Joe in probably what will be the best match of the night. <laughs> Samoa Joe defending the X Division Championship against Loki and Loki. Formal, Loki and Kaz Hayashi. Formerly of the Young Dragons. Yep. And the former Glacier. Glacier Hayashi! (laughs) And then we also have Team 3D taking on Abyss and Dreamer. In what will obviously be a garbage match. (laughs) Yeah, you gotta get one of those. And then your main event. Great Muda and Tajiri versus Sonata and James Storm. (sighs) No champions on this card. Well, uh, you got some more, Joe. Oh, yeah. Well, your world champions. You might have the knockouts champion. Uh, I don't know if you can read ahead in the spoilers. No, unless, if they, if they, I mean, if they keep, at this point, they keep her still champion by that point. You never know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, she might show up with the belt still, because they hadn't changed it yet. <laughs> or she might not. Who knows? And impact. Uh, this show, this show. first of all, we gotta talk about the crowd. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I think I've been at indie shows with higher attendance. You know what? We got to even even worse. I think we got to talk about the attendance figures for these shows. Three hundred to four hundred people. First ta- for the first ta- no, I got the official numbers here. For the first taping, three hundred and fifty people. Uh, for oh the second God. taping, approximately two hundred. Oh. For the ter- third taping, 275 <laughs> people, many got in free. Ah, screw it. They were here last night. <laughs> and for the final show, 650 people. That's a little bit better. Well, considering what the final show was, and we'll see one of those matches tomorrow, what 
was on the final taping. Yay, skipping around tapings to get to oh, matches. Yay. Yep. And TNA's idea of to keep this looking awesome, the crowds are darkened. Uh, that's not smart. And, of course, low audio. <laughs> oh, so they're doing their commentary from Skype. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not even there. But you could basically hear the commentary easily over the... You could barely hear the uh, reactions over the commentary. So congrats, TNA. <laughs> that was you, fun. You. And we kick off with Austin Aries. Well, actually, we showed highlights from the whole Lashley Rude match, which was two weeks ago. Highlights from last week? Nope. And then we had a cameraman wants to talk to Rude immediately as he enters the building. Jeez, give... Jeez, the man just walked in. Jason Harvey, <laughs> get the camera out of here. Yeah, yeah, let the man sit down. Let him relax. Let him take a shit. Let him, let him have a drink. Yeah. He probably needs it. So then we have Aries. He's going to announce who he's going to use his New York City Gold Rush victory on. Money in and the bank. Samoa Joe just, he's like, you know, I could go with, I could go against Gail Kim. I'm sure he would, but not in, a, not in that kind of wrestling match. <laughs> I could go two on one against. I could the go against Christy Hemi, but she's not a champion. <laughs> and Hemi has told me to keep a distance. I could go against two against one in the Wolves for the tag titles, and then he mentions Samoa Joe, and Samoa Joe just comes out and says, "You're facing me, son." son. But I wasn't <laughs> done yet. We ain't we ain't even going with the last guy. You're fighting me. <laughs> and basically, that's what we had yes. a great opening match, but unfortunately, it was a throwaway. Rest, yeah, especially this is a great opening match and probably the only good match on the show. Yeah, and Joe gets the Kikina clutch, and Aries has to weakly tap out because he's <laughs> passing out. He fights it for a while, and then we had. Bud telling EC3, I'm sorry. Just follow me to the ring. I love you. <laughs> well, he didn't actually say that. It's close. <laughs> and to her, it's like, your failure well, has earned of, you nothing. Follow me. It does kind of look like mini Ric Flair. I know. <laughs> and then we look back to two weeks ago when the Wolves got their first win in this series. And the tail end of a conversation with the Wolves telling Angle about their idea. And Angle's like, match of the year. <laughs> Angle, you, you kind of need to wait before the match actually happens to say match of the year. Idea of the year. Or, or even better, let's find out what the stipulation is. No, it's a match of the year that hasn't even happened yet. Yep. EC3 asks Spud if he's his best friend. And Spud's like, yes, sir, I am. Well. You are my best friend. So you are. And Spud, EC3's like, you're my, because I don't see you that way. I'm your employer, and you're my employee. And what world makes them friends? My friends have trust funds, and you don't even fit in by reading comics or watching wrestling in his your dingy studio apartment. Basically I regret to inform you that the fans are not with you. And, and they're chanting his name, though. Sort yeah. of. And starts mocking his haircut, and he's like, what is this? And he's like, I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> Yeah. Your suits make me sick, and it looks like you got them at an optical illusion shop and starts tearing them. Huh. You gonna cry for me, Spud? Cry for me, you Spud. Me? And Spud's like, why are you doing this? And EC3's like, I hold everyone accountable for what happened to Aunt D. And you were the last line of defense, and you failed. You have uh, failed EC3, me, Spud. EC3, you were also the last line of defense, and you failed, too. Yeah, but of course he's not gonna blame himself. Oh, of course not. Heel logic. Heel logic. Everyone yep. is wrong except for me. Spud, Spud slaps him in the face. Spud looks angry. EC3 laughs in his face. And here comes Eric Young. He says, if you're looking, hey, Eric's got a shit eating grin and saying, hey, if you're looking for someone to blame for what happened to Dixie Carter, me, I'll be your Huckleberry. Ben, Huckleberry. <laughs> if anyone, I, because anyone would be happy to take credit for that masterpiece. <laughs> and EC3's like, this doesn't concern you, so get lost. Get lost, Bob. Get out of here. Like, well, I'm here to talk to Spud. 
because Spud, I've been in the same place where you are. I've been pushed around and told I'm not good enough, but you need to listen to the fans, not EC3 and not me. Spud, Spud, Spud. <laughs> yeah, we all know EC3 is going to keep on doing this until you stand up and hit him. You're going to hit me, huh? Are you going to keep taking this? Or are you going to stand up for yourself and hit EC3? So, Or you can answer EC3 attacks young. Since we ha- we're we going to have a match tonight, here we go. We're going to have a match between these two later on. Let's just get it done now. <laughs> yeah. And ba- basically, this was... Uh, okay. Although e- Spud accidentally causes a distraction, which... Allows EC3 to do a low blow and hit oh, the wait, one. Why would it be accidental? Isn't he? <laughs> well, because they because they hit him. The referee was checking on him. Okay. Spud ref was distracted, getting Spud off the apron. Okay. Oh yeah. And EC3 makes sh- Spud raise his hands and hold the o- ropes open for him. Yep. And then we look back to two weeks ago when Kenny. King attacks Melendez after their match. Then we go to Mr. Anderson. He's a rotten son of a bitch. Yep, Tony Melendez, you did a good job, even though this is how guys like Kenny King operate. And Melendez is like, it's nothing new because I've dealt with guys like this overseas, but thanks for helping out. Anderson's like, no problem, and thanks for all you did for this country. Uh huh. You get a video package for the knockout title, which is supposed to start right now. Gail King comes out, but have it. <laughs> attacks. Just kicks her ass. <laughs> yeah. And does this really hammerlock slam move that really looks like it hurt. The hammerlock slam, of course it looks like it hurts. Your arm is behind your back. I know. <laughs> and <laughs> meanwhile, people on Twitter were like, you know, that Havoc girl looks hot. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not really my cup of tea. They were talking, a- they were talking about her rack. <laughs> Oh, God. Yep. And then we have backstage trainers are checking on Gail Kim, and we'll have answers later on tonight. In the meantime, we see a video package for the tag team title series, and the Wolves come out. They're about to make their announcement. They've felt like the underdog throughout this entire series, but the Wolf Nation is behind them. We have now full control, and I am really excited. We are excited to announce that the final match of the series will be... Here comes Team 3D. Look out, look out, look out. Well, you wolves don't get it. It wasn't enough that both Team 3D and the Hardys came out and told everyone how great you thought you are. But now you need to come out and spout out how great you are going to build a legacy and how good you are. But you're not. You may be good, but you're not great. You may be the Tag Team Champions now, but you'll never be Team 3D. You'll never conquer the world of Tag Team Wrestling like we did for the last 20 years. So go sit down while we make this final stipulation. And uh, here come the Hardys. Yep, here come the Hardys to basically say the same freaking thing. Repetitive promos. Yay. Yep, uh, hey, let us decide. You all go in the back, let us decide the final match. And they're like, you fuckers Shut up, lost. <laughs> Davey says, Matt, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look, you guys have had your time for 20 years. It's our time. <laughs> we, you have, and it was like, you guys got g- guts. So your time is now. Slaps him in the face. Bronx. <laughs> he goes to get a table. <laughs> and then the Hardys go to get a ladder. And the Wolves are brandishing chairs. Kurt Angle says, look, calm down. Wolves, make a decision. As if we but, couldn't already tell what the decision was probably going to be. With the even the fans chant TLC. And they're like, full metal mayhem. Holy telegraph, Batman. <laughs> so then we have Anderson and Melendez bumping into MVP and Kenny King backstage. We're looking for you. And Anderson's like, I want to fight Kenny King. And MVP's like, dude, you're fighting me tonight. <laughs> Not Kenny. So Angle checks in on Gail Kim. The trainer says she separated her shoulder. Shouldn't wrestle tonight. But Gail says no. And orders Kurt to make sure the match happens tonight. Gail, TNA, if this really was a separated shoulder situation, there would be no amount, even if the wrestler said do it, there would be no board that would let you do it. Manic is an action. Against 
Shark a boy. Loaded shark boy. And drinking a few too many shark wisers. I know. What the hell? Look at a shark boy and I'm like, Did, what the happened to you? This oh, he hasn't Eagles. worked a match since he got squashed by EC3 like a year ago. I know, and he really se- he seems out of it. He this really wasn't good. But they were they were looking for jobbers. Well, let's give Shark Boy a call. I'm sure he's not doing anything these days. All I gotta say is Manic, the damn hood thing <laughs> Manic has throughout the entire match. I gotta keep this hoodie on. <laughs> well, part hoodie. I have the hood, but nothing else. <laughs> Wouldn't that kind of strangle you if someone could use it effectively? It's like IRS's tie. Yep. Manic wins with the top rope frog, frog splash. Well, who would you expect to win in this match? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Shark Boy, state retired. If you're not going to come wrestling if looking like you're ready regularly. to wrestle, if you're not going to look, at least if you're not going to come around looking like you're going to wrestle, don't bother. Mm-hmm. So Team 3D is backstage and like, you got, bo- those boys got balls. I don't know whether to give them credit or bash them in the heads. You, what are you thinking? You're going to challenge us to a full metal mayhem match? You're dealing with tag team gods, but not because we say so, but because the fans say so. We're going Our into fans. every Hall of Fame this business has. Your days are numbered and we'll be inducted as 25 time tag team champions. And then we had a match that I could give two shits about. MVP versus Mr. Anderson. Eh, why is Anderson the face in this situation other than because he's with Melendez? There's nothing likable about him. <laughs> That's it. That's the only reason he's face. He's faced by association. <laughs> and MVP's an asshole. <laughs> a bigger <laughs> asshole. He's a, Melendez, a, Melendez Anderson's an asshole. Play. MVP's a dick. And Melendez tried to beat a cripple. I mean, King tried to beat a cripple. <laughs> Melendez tried to beat a cripple. What did he freeze that gallon? <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, King causes distraction. Melendez interjects, attacks him, but MVP rolls up Anderson and with the tights. Because that's a necessary thing. And then the best part was that on Twitter, Anderson said, you know what, I failed tonight, but this isn't over. And MVP had one of the best answers up to this. This is the most hilarious thing I have ever heard from MVP. Anyway, MVP said, uh, well, hard head equals a soft ass. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, a hard head makes for a soft ass. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I'm sure MVP would know a lot about that. Yep. <laughs> I, I do got to say about that whole thing with the wolves and stuff. That seems like padded as hell. What? I'm sorry, some people like the segment, the wolves, the whole announcing, the stipulation. It seems padded as freaking hell and unneeded to turn these team heels. Really unfreaking needed. Which teams are turning? You know, making the Team 3D and Hardys look heelish. Ah, uh, yes, because they're underestimating the wolves. Yep. So then we had Bobby Roode come out. Bobby Roode! Say, Bobby Roode! Yes, said by Prince Nana. Winning, winning the TNA World title is a big task. Holding on to it is a bigger. And being the longest reigning champion is a big deal to me. But you're only as good as your last match, and I lost my last match. So he calls last Lashley out. Here. And the new nation comes out. Basically, he's like, the world title means everything to me. You, so I can stand here and look you in the eye and say, you are the most dominant champion this company has ever had. But I've watched our match over and over for the last two weeks, and the moment that stands out is when you hit me with the spear, and I kicked out. And then I saw the look in your eyes. You looked startled. That's, I had you, but I hurt my knee. and you. So you capitalized and you won. But we tore the roof off this place, and lastly, you know I could have beaten you. And all I want is one more chance. One more match, and Bobby Roode turns into Christian. So, Lashley oh. goes to shake his hand, but Envy jumps in and says, Champ says no. Uh, like, that's not, not the vibe not I was getting. To you. I'm talking to Lashley, and he's like, well, I can't say no. So they all that leave. Certainly wasn't the vibe I was getting. And the best part is, on Twitter it continued. And Rude like, Lashley, I didn't never heard your answer. And Lashley on Twitter said, 
I'm busy. <laughs> I'm kind of busy right now. I'll get to you later. Huh. We'll get around to it when we get to it. Yeah. So Gail Kim is he- backstage getting her shoulder taped up and saying she has to do this. So it's main event time. Oh, no, you don't? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I get being a don't. valiant baby face, but come on, Gail. You're supposed to be, your shoulder's supposedly hurt. You don't have to do your this. Your shoulder's separated. No doctor would tell you, no, we're not doing this. I mean, every doctor would say, no, we're not doing it. Hell, Daniel Bryan would be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, Havoc squashes Gail Kim. <laughs> Some people were comparing this to the Brock Lesnar squash of John Cena at SummerSlam. Almost. Minus Here's 1,700 the suplexes. <laughs> Here's the difference. Gail, Gail Kim, Kim still was a, protected. And she yeah. actually got offense. Yeah. Well, Cena did still get some offense. He, Cena did hit an AA and got him with an SCF. Although th- they didn't work real well. And we have a new knockout champion. Yep, Havoc won. Hit the hammerlock spinebuster and then choke slammed her. <laughs> yes. And that's how we ended this show. Not a good show. Uh, you know, to the opener and to the credit of the main event, I'm going to give this show a C, but that's about it. Yeah, C, my, yeah, about a C is right, I would say. Um, it was a good show for storyline progression, and you had a couple of good matches in there. You had a good segment to put over Havoc during a knockouts title match, and, but the rest of the show was kind of, yeah, not good. Yeah, yeah. The problem is when you have stuff like the Shark Boy not showing up, not fit to wrestle. Sorry, Shark Boy. That, but that's not their fault. That's Shark Boy's, and I, I think that. But although they should have told Shark Boy, we're getting someone else. Sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll pay find another jobber. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay you not to wrestle. See <laughs> my eye on. Get over here. See my eye on. Get over here. Come on. Crazy Steve. But we're both heels. Oh, yeah. Crazy Steve, get over here. Crazy Steve, get over here. Crazy Go honk Steve. Your horn. Go honk your horn somewhere and get beat. Somebody get a crazy, a shiny object to lure Crazy Steve over here. <laughs> get some balloons. Don't pop them. The are looking for work. <laughs> they need the money, apparently. So, yeah. just say, hey, we'll pay it. Get in there. We'll pay you eventually. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that whole... The announcement of the Full Metal Mayhem at was so freaking added. Yep. And the Ander couldn't give a crap about Anderson. Yep. And oh yeah, let's talk about the Eric Young East EC thing. Um, it was okay, but we know where it's you, going, and you know where it's going. And I'm just kind of sad to see them make the duel. Yep. And by the way, Twitter EC3 on Twitter asked Uncle Serge to remove the omelet spud T-shirts huh. from their shop. That should be a kind of a way to tell you that Spud's turning face whenever somebody gets a T-shirt. <laughs> I know. Well, he's had these T-shirts for a while. These omelet spud T-shirts. He also has one called Team Friendship that I I saw at an independent show where it's him. Where it's the you, you remember the exhibition, right? Yes. With them and EC3 and EC three's mounting him. Yeah. And it's that picture and it says Team Friendship. Oh god. I Don't so sell want, that one. No, I so wanted to get that shirt. It, it people probably bought it. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, considering how late it is, Miley already got a walk. Yep, and I think we'll so. talk to you guys next week. See ya. Bye.